In this video, we will learn how to return 201 status code from ASP.NET Core web application. Now go to controller base class, right click here, then choose go to definition, here scroll down. We have created method here. Um, let's see the summary of this method. Using this method, we can return 201 status code. If you are adding a new resource in post API, then you need to return 201 status code. You can see here we have two created methods. In first method, we can pass URI in, uh, and then object. In the second method, we can pass string URI and then object. Now, go to animals controller. Since we are using the same application that we have created in our ASP.NET Core video series. Here, copy this method. We can add one more action method. So, paste it here. Here we are going to add new resource. For that we have to use new HTTP verb that is HTTP post. Along with this route we can use this HTTP verb then remove this name attribute that we don't need. So it will work as a route now. In this method we can pass some data for that we will use animal model then object animal. We can append this animal to a list of animals. For that, we will do animals dot add animal. Here we have to return 201 status code. For that, we will use created method. Inside this created method, we will pass URL. Um, this URL is used to get the data, newly created data by using a ID. For that, we will create one more action method to get the data by using ID. So, change the route here. So, ID and then type is integer. So, here we have to pass ID, then change the method name, get animals by ID, then parameter integer ID. You change the logic. If the ID equal 0 means we will return bad request else we will fetch the data so here we will use first or default method to fetch the data by using id x dot id equal parameter id okay then we have to access this uh, get animals by id method from here for that we will use till symbol then api then animals this is the url of this method then we have to pass anim id to this method for that we will use animal dot id so this is the first parameter in the second parameter we have to pass object because in the controller base class see here we are using this method string uri and then up value object value so we are passing string url and then object Okay, now save and run this application. We will test this post API in Postman. So copy this URL and open a Postman. Here, open a new tab, change the method post and then paste the URL. Here, append the URL API animals. To send the data, use body and then choose raw. Then type will be JSON. In JSON type, we will send the data. So first will be ID, let's say three. Then name, sorry. Your name, let's say cow. So here we are sending ID and name. Remember, in real-time application, we don't send this ID because ID will be generated automatically by the database. Uh, now, we are learning methods only. As of now, we don't have database. So, we are sending the ID along with this data. Okay, now click send button here. See here, we have 201 status code. Uh, we uh, got the output of the newly created data also. In see the headers. See the location, here we have the get URL. Okay, now go back to Visual Studio, stop the execution. 
in controller base class we have one more method that is created at action if you don't want to write complete url then you can use this method with this name we have three methods created at action first method takes parameter as action name controller name route values and then object in the second method parameter is action name route values and then object the third method takes action name and then object so now we will use this second method so go back to animals controller here we will use this um, method name action name instead of this complete url okay in the second method uh, we have to pass route values for that new id equal to this animal dot id in the third parameter we have to pass animal object so replace this created method with created at action okay that's it save and run this app again now change the id as four and then animal name let's say fox then click send see here we got the output of this newly created data and then we have 201 status code okay in the controller base class we have accepted a uh, sorry created a route method if you are working with asp.net core web application we can give name to the url so we can use name parameter in route attribute so go to the animals controller let's stop the execution here we will use name attribute and then let's say test using this route name uh, we can access this method from here so here paste it and change the method created at route see here in controller base class so we have three methods with this created at route name so here we are using second method string route name and then object route values and then object okay now save and run this app again now let's change the id let's say 5 then click send here we got the output and we got 201 status code this is how we can return 201 status code from our asp.net core web application thanks for watching this video